Alright, it's our turn to pull in here. And I'm guessing this is just like at Stuttgart here, except you don't load completely on the scales. You got to pull up and back up and all that jazz. So I'm following this light right here that I think is telling me what I need to do. Alright. Green light, 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 green light. Oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Oh, there we go. Now, I don't know what the sign's going to be for backup, but we'll just see. I love, love new places. When I was growing up, where dad hauled soybean meal out of, they didn't have colored lights. They, uh, they'd blink it if they wanted you to back it up and then leave it on and turn it off when they wanted you to stop, or they would just turn it on to pull up. So, oh. Uh, I don't know what this guy's want me to do here. I hope pull up. I hope that's what he's want me to do. We'll see what backup is. I'm, I got to back up to get on the scale here in a minute. So we'll see what's going on there. So it looks like they just painted. Looks like they just painted those with some paint. That's cool. <laughs> Well, I was sitting there waiting on it. He, I missed it. He flickered both lights to uh, to back up here. Oh, I can't see if I'm on the scale. Almost on the scale. There we go. There we are. Let's see what he says do. All right, got to pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull up. I ain't got to put some more in there. I will say this. It don't take but a minute just to get this stuff loaded here. So he's uh, putting more in the front, which I don't necessarily like, like that. But All right. Now we're backing up. Let's see what he says this time. He backed me up and pulled me up so many times my I done turn my low air buzzer on so we've got everything under control so all we got to do now is uh, pull out of here and go get our paperwork. Dang it was close. So I'm gonna get out and go back in the building and uh, figure out how what I need to do to get my paperwork see about getting the heck out of here trying to deliver this thing this afternoon it's not uh, about four and a half hours to where we're going so we're gonna try it all automated got my wheels And that was all automated. I went in there before and give them all my info. And when I got ready to come out, we were all done. So now we just got to get out here and roll the tarp and all that.
All right, so we stopped here at Kingdom City, and we actually went over there to the old Phillips 66 over there. And uh, you got Gaspers over here, and I usually like stopping at Gaspers because you got Arby's. But uh, Mudflap was cheaper over there, and I come over here to get Arby's, and I just happened to hit uh, look at Trucker Path, and you can buy fuel through Trucker Path now. So, uh, like if you get Trucker Path, you can get, I, I don't know if it, they automatically, you can get signed up with it. I can't remember how I did it, but you can actually go through there and book how much fuel you want to buy at a particular spot. Pre-book it, have it all ready to go, and like you basically just pull up in there and fuel it. So, uh, I forgot to check Trucker Path, and I wish I would have because, like, I probably would have just, like, left my truck on a fuel island and walked into Arby's and all that. So, anyway, fuel is not really cheap here, here in Missouri right now. So, you look at uh, Arkansas mud flap and, uh, like, where I'm going, I didn't get much fuel here because I, I can buy the same price fuel in Arkansas that I can here or cheaper and I got a better fuel tax rate down there. So, uh, I usually just, I don't buy a lot in Missouri just because the, uh, the tax rate, you know, when I do my IFTA, you know, I buy a bunch of Missouri fuel and I don't, and I run a bunch of miles somewhere else, I get screwed. So anyway, uh, I fix a run in here and get something to eat real quick. I'm starving. And then we're gonna head through St. Louis and down to uh, down Highway 67 down, and we're going right there on the Arkansas Missouri line to unload the soybean mill, and then I think we're gonna pick up rice and go home with it. So, all right, I'm jumping out, going to Arby's, and see about getting some of this roast beef sandwich because Arby's got the meats. No, I'm gonna get the brisket. I'm gonna get the brisket. Yeah, that's what. I don't know why these states can't get together on their construction projects, but Missouri, right before the line, was doing some kind of some kind of screwing up. They wasn't doing nothing good to what they's doing, putting like fixing joints or something in the road, which they really where they were doing it earlier uh, really didn't make the road any better. It kind of made it suck worse. Now across the line in Arkansas is doing construction got it all closed down so i sat there for i don't know between five and ten minutes in missouri uh, about three miles up the road there get down here across the arkansas line and here we are but oh uh, nah, i can't quite see the road i gotta take this left up here uh right past that construction i gotta take a left and I'm not only, I'm probably three miles from where I'm delivering, so. Anything to hold up a working man, you know what I mean? All right, we showed up. They said channel 15 and I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we're supposed to do here. I'm gonna pull up on these scales. 
and I'm gonna holler at them again on channel 15 and see what happens and see what they say. like a bank you throw it in there and uh, send it on that's how that works there right on the money anyway so I don't know where to go to from here I'm gonna have to ask about that all right so we're supposed to circle around go around the railroad tracks and I don't know what she said there's two bays back here and somebody let me know where to go All right, so we're scaled in. We're gonna pull around here and uh, look for these two bays. She said, turn around and go around the back of the silos and over by the railroad tracks. And those look like my two bays right there. One of them two. One of them's a rail pit and one of them is a, uh, is a truck pit. And I'm guessing the one that's got the trash can in front of it is not the one I'm going to. So let me see what this guy's gonna wanna do here. And uh, okay, he's waving me in on the trucks, on the rail side. So here we go.
got that thing unloaded. It didn't take too long, but sometimes, sometimes a soybean meal, if it's hot or moist or both, it gets stuck in these trailers and you know, it just keeps packing in there. Uh, so we just, uh, that thing was stuck no longer than it was in the trailer a few hours. It still got stuck, so. But we got it out. Sometimes you gotta get it started at vibrator. I wish I had a vibrator on both sides at the bottom. Because uh, that uh, that vibrator, you know, it works good on the driver's side, but you gotta go to the other side and hit the knock rail a little bit and jar it stuff loose down there at the bottom on the passenger side. And once you get that, it usually starts going. Same with DDG. Anyway, I'll just get my scale ticket here and see what uh, see what we got up our sleeve now. Well, all right, we got that thing unloaded. It didn't take too long, but sometimes, sometimes a soybean meal, if it's hot or moist or both, it gets stuck in these trailers, and you know it just keeps packing in there. Uh, so we just, uh, that thing was stuck no longer than it was in the trailer a few hours. It still got stuck, so. But we got it out. Sometimes you gotta get it started at vibrator. I wish I had a vibrator on both sides at the bottom. Cause uh, that, uh, that vibrator, you know, it works good on the driver's side, but you gotta go to the other side and hit the knock rail a little bit and jar it stuff loose down there at the bottom on the passenger side. And once you get that, it usually starts going. Same with DDG. Anyway, I'll just get my scale ticket here and see what uh, see what we got to pursue. Yep, here we are, back here at uh, State Line Travel Center here, Neelyville, Missouri. I don't know what the deal is if we're going to be able to get some rice today and go home or not. So we may be cutting this. Uh, Cutting this day short, I was hoping we'd be able to go load some rice and get back down and unload it and go to the house tonight and be done for the week. I've got to I've got to move my kid to Nashville. He's uh, he's moving to Nashville, so I've got uh, went and got all his stuff loaded up last weekend. Got it in a U-Haul and it's sitting there waiting on me to get home. We're gonna leave Thursday and. Uh, only Thursday and go load him up and take him up there so let him pursue his musical career and get this out of the system whether he win lose or draw he's uh, he's had the experience so that's why I am doing all this crazy junk that I don't want to do this week is so I can work a little bit and take care of that so anyway we're fixed to walk into Taylor's see what uh, over there at the Longhorn Grill and see about what uh, what we can find to eat. This is a good restaurant. I mean, we're lucky I'm getting a, a meal, two good meals in a row. I mean, I never do that when I'm on the road. It's just always just go, go, go. So anyway, I'm gonna go in here and uh, wait for a phone call and hopefully we'll go somewhere tonight and load, but I ain't looking good. So, all right, well, we're gonna get out appreciate you watching we're uh moving on to something else